Hey everyone, David from Sunday Sounds here. In today's video, we're gonna answer one of the questions we get asked more often than most. How do you do all of that programming that you guys do in your song-specific patches? If you're not familiar with our song patches, what we do is we program these really complex transitions between different sections of the song so that you can move between them just by moving your mod wheel. So for example, you could play like this and then bring the mod wheel up and then bring these more complex layers in and then fade them right back down. This is a great tool to have to be able to build the dynamic intensity of a song and it's one of my favorite tricks inside Main Stage 3. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. So I'm gonna switch over to this basic synthesizer patch. It sounds just like this. And if I move my mod wheel up, then the filter opens. If I move my mod wheel down, then the filter closes. So what we want to be able to do is actually bring the volume of this sound in as we move the mod wheel up. And then when the mod wheel is in the down position, we don't want to hear this sound at all. So to do this, you want to select your channel strip over here on the right. And this is all inside edit mode. And then we're going to add what's called the MIDI modifier MIDI effect. So you want to find the MIDI effect area here at the top of the channel strip. And if you don't see this area, then right click on your channel strip head over to the channel strip components folder, and then make sure that there's a check next to MIDI effects so that you can see the MIDI effects area. And then click on one of the empty slots and choose the modifier plugin. When you open up the MIDI modifier, it's gonna look like this. It's a pretty basic plugin. You have an input event and a reassign to window. So we wanna select the mod wheel as our input event, and then we wanna reassign to volume. And then you want to set the scale to 100%. That just gives you the full sweep of the mod wheel. And you don't need to do anything down here with this add slider. So now that we've done this, we can bring our mod wheel down and we play, we won't hear any sound. And then as you bring the mod wheel up, you'll hear that pad fade in. And then we can bring it back down by moving the mod wheel back down. Now you may have noticed that that filter cutoff is no longer being affected by the mod wheel. And that's just because the mod wheel is being told to do something else inside of main stage. If you still want that filter cutoff to open up for any of your sounds, then just check this little box that says through. And now we'll get the volume and that filter modulation as we move the mod wheel. And that's the trick. That's all there is to it. This is what we do in all of our song specific patches to make these really smooth transitions between different sections of a song. Now, you can, you can get pretty complex with this and you can do all sorts of cool things. I wanna give you one more trick that can give you a little bit more flexibility uh, and, and just add a little bit more control over what you're doing here. So let's say, uh, for example, that we wanna bring this sound in at the 50% mark on the mod wheel and then when we get up to 100%, we don't want it anymore. So we wanna have maybe three stages on the mod wheel. So maybe that would be like intro, chorus, and then all the way up would be the bridge or something. So in this scenario, we only want the synth pad at about that 50% mark. So the first step is gonna be the same. You just need this MIDI modifier, input event set to mod wheel, and then reassigned to volume. And then if you want that filter cut off or whatever other effects you have on the mod wheel to pass through, then just check this through button. So there's just one additional step we have to take here. You wanna have your channel strip selected, and then you wanna click on the MIDI input tab here and then you need to hit the plus icon down at the bottom. And this little window here down at the bottom in MIDI input functions a lot like the MIDI modifier. You're gonna click on the input controller area and choose modulation. And then by default, the output controller will be set to unchanged and, and that's, that's where you want it to be for this. Uh, where we really are gonna make this change is in between those two areas in the transform window. So you click on this little box and it's gonna pop up on screen like this. So this gives you a visual of what your mod wheel is doing when you send the data into main stage. So when my mod wheel is down, you can see zero, zero, this, bot, this blue dot is down at the bottom left corner. And then as we sweep the mod wheel up, that blue dot's gonna go up to the top right corner there. So this is the default sweep of a MIDI control. And that, that's what's happening. The volume is sweeping up. And then when we reach that top right corner, the volume is all in. But remember in this scenario, we want full volume at 50%. And then when we get to 100%, we want the volume back off. 
So we're actually gonna click on this top right corner and drag this blue dot into the middle of the range. So right now, we'll get to full volume about halfway up the mod wheel range. And then we're gonna click over on the right side of the screen to add another dot and then drag this all the way back down. So now we can see visually happen on screen. Fades in, when we hit 50%, we're at full volume, and then it fades back down as you get towards the top. All right, and that's all there is to this simple trick. If you like the way we design our song-specific patches at Sunday Sounds, then learning how to do this for yourself is gonna help you in your own personal sound design. If this video was helpful to you or you have any questions about this technique, let us know in the comments and we would love to hear from you. Otherwise, be sure to check out in the link in the description of this video to view all our other mainstage tutorials, resources, and sound libraries. Thanks for watching and have a great day.